Hello children, before starting today's session, answer some questions. Red fort is made up of which material? Red sandstone. You are right. Taj Mahal is built of? Marble. Excellent. So, our today's lesson is Rocks and Minerals From Class 5 Science Rocks and Minerals are used for various purposes. Let us first learn about different types of rocks. Many of the materials that we use every day are made from different kinds of rocks. Each kind of rock, in turn, is composed of different minerals. Depending on the way they are formed, rocks are grouped into three types. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks. The earth can be divided into three layers. Crust, mantle, and core. What we see as soil and mountains are only the surfaces of the earth, also called the crust. Underlying the crust is the mantle and below that is the core. The earth's core is made of molten rock. This molten rock flows out from the earth's interior, to the surface when a volcano erupts. This latter cools and solidifies to form igneous rocks. When inside the earth, molten rock is called magma, when it flows out onto the surface, it is called lava. Almost 50% of the Earth's crust is made up of igneous rocks. Let us see the examples of igneous rocks. Granite It is very hard and is formed by the slow cooling of lava. It is used extensively as a building material. As polished granite on kitchen counters and floors. Granite comes in many colors and patterns. Obsidian it is smooth and glossy and is formed by the quick cooling of lava. Obsidian is used in making jewelry and ornaments. It is usually black or dark colored. Pumice It is porous, or full of holes and is formed from the lava that is frothy with a lot of air in it. Pumice is the only rock that can float. It is used in making lightweight building materials such as concrete blocks. Sedimentary rocks. Rain, wind and rivers flowing down mountains, wear away rocks on mountains. These rock particles are carried down and deposited elsewhere. Repeated deposition presses down the lower layers and hardens them into rocks. Such rocks are called sedimentary rocks. They are always formed in layers. They cover three-fourths of the Earth's surface, although they make up less than 5% of the total of Earth's rocks. Let us see the examples of sedimentary rocks. Sandstone It is a soft stone that is formed of sand particles deposited close together. Many of India's famous old buildings such as the Red Fort in Delhi, and many places in Rajasthan are made of sandstone. Conglomerate It has rounded stones such as pebbles and gravel cemented together into a mass. It has coarse grains and can withstand weathering. It is used in construction and is also polished to make ornaments. Shale It is made of solidified clay and comes apart in thin layers. It is used in making bricks and cement. Limestone It is a rock with fine grains that are quite soft. It contains the mineral calcium and tiny bits of animal shells. It is used in making many things such as paint, whitewash, and cement. Many sedimentary rocks have fossils in them because, along with bits of rocks, animals and plant remains also get deposited during rock formation. Metamorphic rocks 
metamorphic rocks are rocks that are formed due to physical and chemical changes in igneous, sedimentary, or older metamorphic rocks themselves. These changes happen due to heat and pressure. The examples of metamorphic rocks are Marble It is formed from the sedimentary rock, limestone. Marble is used in making statues and for other ornamental purposes. It is quite popular as a material for flooring too. Slate It is formed from shale, a sedimentary rock. Like shale, it splits into flat layers. It is used in making bricks and cement. Nice It is formed from granite. It has different kinds of material in it, giving it a striped or streaked look. It is used as a building stone. Quartzite It is formed from sandstone that is rich in the mineral quartz. It is a very hard rock and is weather resistant. It is used in glass and ceramic industries and also in making jewelry and ornaments. Now, let us learn about minerals. All rocks are made up of substance called minerals. Minerals are chemical substances with a fixed chemical composition that occur in nature. They are formed of natural processes occurring within the earth. They may be simple substances or very complex ones. Minerals are of two types, metallic and non-metallic minerals. Magnetite and bauxite are examples of metallic minerals, whereas, calcite, gypsum, mica, and quartz are examples of non-metallic minerals. Some minerals, such as iron, calcium, and potassium are present in trace quantities, in several food items, and are important for living organisms. Magnet In general, substances that can attract iron are called magnets. Other than iron, magnets can also attract objects, made of cobalt and nickel. There are two types of magnets. Natural and man-made magnets. Natural magnets are found in nature. For example magnetite. It is believed to have been discovered by a Greek shepherd. Named Magnus. Man-made magnets are made by man, generally from iron, nickel, or cobalt. Magnets come in different shapes and sizes. All magnets have two ends called, the North Pole, and the South Pole. Uses of Minerals We use various minerals in different forms in our daily life. Certain minerals such as gypsum and calcite are used to make building materials such as mortar, cement, and concrete. Several minerals are rich in metal. For example, magnetite is rich in iron and bauxite is rich in aluminium. Such minerals are called ores. These ores are used for extracting metals, which can be used for making utensils, machine parts, electric wires, coaches of trains, and airplanes. Precious metals such as gold, silver, and platinum are used for making ornaments and jewelry. Several attractive minerals such as diamond, ruby, emerald, sapphire, and topaz, are used as gemstones. These minerals are found in the form of crystals. When polished, they appear beautiful and shiny. Minerals such as sulfates and nitrates are added as fertilizers to the soil. Rock salt, chalk, and talcum powder are obtained from minerals too. Our body needs certain minerals like calcium, sodium, and iron for healthy growth. 
Coal and Petroleum Coal and petroleum are two important products obtained from rocks present deep within the earth. Coal is usually found in layers. It is formed from dead plant matter buried under great pressure, over millions of years. Coal is extracted from the ground by coal mining. It is one of the most important fuels, used for cooking, heating, producing electricity, and running steam engines. Petroleum is also a fossil fuel, formed when large quantities of dead organisms are buried, underneath sedimentary rocks and subjected to intense heat and pressure. It is commonly refined into various types of fuels, such as petrol, diesel, kerosene, gasoline, and LPG. Let's remember. Depending on the way rocks are formed, they can be grouped as igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks are formed when molten rock cools down and solidifies. Sedimentary rocks are formed by the repeated deposition of rock particles that are worn away from mountains by wind and water. They are formed in layers. Metamorphic rocks are rocks that are formed due to physical and chemical changes in igneous, sedimentary, or older metamorphic rocks themselves caused by heat and pressure. Rocks and minerals are used for various purposes. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.